visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. Pulled out my air conditioner and turn it on. Condenser works. Gets nice and cold, but I don't have any fan. I got no blower. So I'm going to take a look, see at it, see if I can figure it out. Remember, this is entertainment. There's not enough information here to be instruction. But before you touch anything in an AC unit, make sure power is disconnected. Here's my starter capacitor. They're cheap. I'm just going to toss that out before I remove the wires. I'm going to label what wires are on what contacts. I don't want to screw it up putting it back together. Remember, once you get that thing removed, short out them contacts. It's a battery. It stores power and it could throw you on your butt. So be careful. Now I'm looking at this and you can see on these dual capacitors, they're labeled. One contact here says Hearn. On the other contact, it'll say, it says fan. And then here you see I have a little C for common. Now make sure you get them all shorted out so you don't get shocked. Now I'm going to take my multimeter and just see what kind of microfarads I have. As you can see the cap capacitor says one side is 35, the other side is 6. So I'm going to go to the fan side and see what I got. I got my meter in microfarads. And you can see I've got 6.13. So my microfarads are good on it. So anyways, I installed it, didn't fix it. So now I go to my motor for my fan and I write a copy the schematic on the back of the motor. And now I'm going to take and read through the fan motor. But the first thing you got to do, because I'll be using an ohm meter is I need to isolate the whole circuit. If you're using an ohm meter, you're wasting your time if you don't isolate because if you're not, you just read through the other circuits. And also, if there's anything hot in there, you might burn up your ohm meter. So first I disconnected the control wires. Now I'm disconnecting the start capacitor wires. And I'm also going to disconnect the ground wire. And there's my schematic. My first thing is right to left. And I'm going from blue to orange. So I'm hooking the blue lead to one side of my ohm meter with this alligator clip. And then I'm going to hook up the orange lead to the other alligator clip. Let me put my meter in the ohms position and move it over so we can read it while I'm testing it. I'm in the ohms mode. Red lead is in the ohm socket and the black lead is in the common. So now I'll hook my meter to the blue lead. Now let me check out the orange lead. And there we go. We got 31.5 ohms. So I don't have the specs for this motor, but I'm going to guess that isn't a dead short and it isn't an open. That's the blue to the orange. And now I'm going to go from the orange to the red to make sure that wire is good. I don't know if that's the right reading for this motor, but I know it's not shorted out and I know it's not open. So I'll leave my meter lead in the orange and I'll clip this one onto the red. And what do I read? 24.8. I know it's not open and I know it's not shorted. So I'm gonna assume that's probably good. And now I'll get my schematic diagram out. I'm going from red to gray. And you can see I got overheat protection in there too. So the wire could be bad or the overheat switch could be bad. So anyway, I'm on the red wire. Here's my gray wire. Let me see what kind of reading I got. I got it dead open. So there's my problem. Now I got to figure that out. But I'm not going to invest that much money into this cheap unit. I'll just get another one. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.